Loud, O Sion, your salvation, loud with hymns of exultation. Christ, your King and Shepherd true, bring him all the praise you know. He is more than you bestow. Never can you reach his due. Special theme for glad thanksgiving is the quickening and the living. Bread today before you set. From his hands of old partaken, as we know by faith unshaken, when the twelve at supper set. Full and clearing out your chanting, join our sweetest grace be wanting. From your heart let praises burst. For today the feast is holden, when the institution olden of that supper was rehearsed. Hear the new Jalas new oblation by the new king's revelation and the form of ancient rite. Now the old, the new faces, truth away the shadow chases, light dispels the gloom of night. What he did at supper seated, Christ ordained to be repeated, his memorial never to cease, and his rule for guidance taking. Bread and wine we hollow making, this our sacrifice of peace. This the truth each Christian learns, into bread his flesh he turns, to the precious blood the wine. Sight has failed nor thought conceived, but a doubtless faith believes, resting on a power divine. Here beneath the signs are hidden, priceless things to sense forbidden, signs not things are all we see. Blood is poured and flesh is broken, yet in either wondrous token, Christ entire we know to be. Whoso of this food partakes, does not rend the Lord nor breaks, Christ is whole to all that taste. Thousands are as one receivers, one as thousands of believers, eats of him who cannot waste. Bad and good the feast are sharing, of what diverse dooms preparing, endless death or endless life. Life to these, to those damnation, see how like participation is with unlike issue right. When the sacrament is broken, doubt not but believe tis spoken, that each severed outward token doth the very whole contain. Not the precious gift divides, breaking but the sign betides, Jesus still the same abides, still unbroken does remain. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient type fulfilling, Isaac bound the victim willing, Paschal lamb its life blood spilling, manna to the fathers sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us, Jesu of your love befriend us. 
You refresh us, you defend us, your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and knowest, who on earth such food bestowest, grant with us your saints the lowest, where the heavenly feast you showest, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia. Corpus Christi, the feast of the body and blood of our Lord. Today we recall the gift of the Eucharist, Holy Communion, the Blessed Sacrament, as the source and the summit of our lives as Christians. This feast day is marked by two added traditions that, while both are optional, when they're applied, they bring the richness and festivity of this day. They are the sequence, the Lauda Sion, which we heard sung right before the Gospel, and the Eucharistic procession. At the 5.30 in this Mass here, we've included the Lauda Sion, and at the 8 o'clock Mass this morning, we, had, we finished with the Eucharistic procession as is St. Bonaventure's tradition. God's greatest desire is to give us His life, to nourish us, to feed our bodies and souls. In the time of Moses, as we saw in the first reading, in the time of the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, there was the celebration of Passover. The blood of a lamb was offered. And then as they wandered through the desert, God fed them with manna, this miraculous bread from heaven. Truth, the ancient type fulfilling, Paschal lamb, its life blood spilling, manna to the Father's scent. Comes from the poetry of the sequence, which was written by St. Thomas Aquinas, in the 13th century, specifically for this feast. And that verse draws on the images of the Passover lamb as well as the manna as signs, symbols that would be fulfilled in the even greater gift of the Eucharist. In the Gospel, we hear how Jesus celebrates the Passover for the final time on Holy Thursday transforming the Old Covenant into the New Covenant at that Last Supper. While they were eating, he took bread and said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is the blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. It's from these words that we hear at every Mass. This is my body. This is my blood. Again, as the sequence says, What he did at supper seated, Christ ordained to be repeated. His memorial never to cease. Jesus never wanted his gift of the Eucharist that he gave us at the Last Supper to cease, but to be repeated, which is why the church ordains priests. Christ came first as our high priest, as it was spoken in the second reading. And the men that Jesus calls to follow him in his priesthood are given to us to bring us Jesus' real presence in the Eucharist, himself as our food. And today we rejoice even more for yesterday, three more men were ordained for priests as priests in our studies in Omaha including one from our area, Father Patrick Mosier. It's not ordinary bread or ordinary wine that Jesus gives to us at Mass, but it is His body and His blood. No longer do we eat a lamb, but the very flesh 
of the Lamb of God. Greater than that manna is this new bread from heaven. St. Thomas continues his reflection. This the truth is each Christian learns. Into bread his flesh he turns. To the precious blood, the wine. We worship and receive Jesus himself in the Blessed Sacrament. It may look on the outside to be just bread or just wine. But it is not. It is Jesus himself. Sight has failed, nor thought conceived, but a dauntless faith believes, resting on a power divine. We know that it is Jesus, not because we can see him, but because Jesus, who is God, who cannot deceive us, has told us that it is so. Here beneath the signs are hidden priceless things to sense forbidden. Signs, not things, are all we see. Blood is poured and flesh is broken. Yet in either wondrous token, Christ entire we know to be. It is in the Eucharist that Jesus gives his whole self, his whole life to us. Knowing that it is Jesus, the Church has developed the devotion of the Eucharistic procession, which we see on Holy Thursday, as we do the round inside the Church, and on Corpus Christi. So the Eucharist is taken in procession, both inside and outside the Church. So today, at various places in our diocese and across the globe, Catholic faithful will follow the Eucharist out from the church into the world, down the roads and streets of the places where they live. The Eucharistic procession is a witness to the faith that we truly believe that it is Jesus in the Eucharist. And it also expresses that Jesus desires that all people come to him. And so we as his disciples bring him out to them. We, recognize, we receive the body and blood here at Mass so that we can be sustained when we go through all of life's different difficulties. Jesus accompanies, walks with us in that journey. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven, the sequence says. In fact, the, the Eucharist is called Viatica, literally food for the journey at the time when someone receives it near the end of their life. Jesus, filled with the life and grace you give us in this Eucharist, guide us through the winding paths of this life into life eternal. You refresh